You tell them this, Jonathan O'Toole, that we are fed up with their ideological, neocolonization and cultural imperialism. We know the SRHR agenda is a new phase of population control. We will not associate with people who do not know the difference between a boy and a girl. Don't you dare step into our country to discuss how to commit genocide, plotting to kill our own children and think that we will not physically defend our children's lives. By plotting to kill our children, you have declared war on Kenya. How dare you come to tell us that sodomy is a normal act? We are organizing to arrest you people for crimes against humanity. Abortion is nothing less than a criminal assault, the murder of an innocent human being. Your very own abortion king, Dr. Bernard Nathanson, who was behind the legalization of abortion, which is the mother of preborn babies, in 1973, confessed that abortion, legalized abortion, was the worst mistake America ever made. You have ignored him and are determined to spread your evil worldwide. May the Lord rebuke you. We will resist you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen, Dr. Ari. Are you saying that Kenyans on the street are prepared to physically defend the babies, the, the, the children of Kenya. From Absolutely, this. Jonathan O'Toole. We are prepared to defend them by any means necessary. Any means necessary. So help us God. And so help us God. Amen. Now, did I hear you right? You're calling this nothing short of genocide. I thought I heard you use the word. That is exactly what it is. You have pre-borns are, 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 are human beings. Okay, they, by right, under Kenyan laws, they are human beings. And if you come here planning to host a meeting about, you know, Abortion, you have then declared war, you, you're going to kill in innocent lives. Against those persons. Yes, against those persons. Declared war against Exactly, those exactly, exactly. That's what it is, Jonathan. That is what it is. And we are ready to defend them with our lives. Okay? Thank you very much, Dr. Ali. ICPD is coming from New York United Nations, 3rd Avenue, into Africa, specifically into East Africa, into Nairobi, into Kenya to hold a uh, United Nations UNFPA summit about abortion and gayism. They want to promote abortion and gayism in Africa and they're choosing a country, Kenya, which, in which abortion and gayism is illegal. Now, I want to talk about this, but let me contextualize it first. I'm, by the way, I'm Jonathan O'Toole of Project C. That's Project S -E -E .com. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a priest, I'm not a bishop, I'm not a deacon. But I'm a man who fears God. I'm a Christian man, okay? Now, I want to talk about this ICPD summit, but first let's step back. Earlier this year, earlier this year, a group uh, promoting gayism called Toto Tours, a, a group of gay tourists, <coughs> sodomite, <coughs> excuse me, sodomite tourists from Chicago, USA, wanted to come to Ethiopia. These people wanted to come to their, their churches, their holy sites, their ancient sites, their religious sites, and the Ethiopian African people said, absolutely not, you are not welcome in Ethiopia. They said many things. In fact, I myself, my friend Craig Walterscheid, my friend Robert Rudnick, and a few uh, Americans who are also Christians who are outraged by this promotion of these, um, let me say, sacraments of death sodomy and abortion by abortion i mean the killing of innocent baby we were outraged just along with the ethiopians just like them in solidarity with them we were outraged that they would dare to try to export it to a country that fears god where these things are still illegal god fearing civilized people let me tell you even western civilization was not built upon the foundation of uh, gayism and baby murder no this is the disintegration the barbarization, and it's even worse than barbarism, the uh, apostasy of formerly Christian Western civilization. Now, these barbarians are invading Nairobi. I want to encourage Kenyans, any Kenyans, any Africans, but specifically East Africans and Kenyans to speak up. This is happening next week, beginning Monday, this ICPD summit in Nairobi pushing the genocide of your children through abortion, the murder of the child in the womb, and through sodomy. Very satanic. Imitate, I beg you, do not do what we did in the United States. Do not do what we've done in most of Europe. 
Do not capitulate to these demoniacs. Do not capitulate and do not uh, cooperate with these Satanists. Imitate the Ethiopians. I beg you, I adjure you, in the name of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Imitate the Ethiopians. Tell these people they do not belong in your country and drive them out. The Bible says, righteousness exalts a nation. But sin, sin is a reproach to any people. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of their money. Don't be afraid of the color of their skin. The Bible also says the wicked flee when nobody is chasing them. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. So the wicked flee when nobody is chasing them. You African people, you Kenyan people, you are more than nothing. In fact, you have the almighty living God on your side if you will stand up, have courage, and run them out of your country. They should not even be allowed to step off the plane, God forbid. If they do, they should be arrested. You should organize to make sure, by whatever means necessary, that these devils are driven from Africa because the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. They have no right to be on His earth and they have no right to be in any country where the people fear the living God.